Well, I will tell you that one of the best museums in the city is the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture. And this year, they want to try to keep drawing you into some of their exhibits and some of their special projects. And here to tell us a little bit more about it, Billy Ocasio, who is the president of that wonderful museum. Hello to you. Did you see that intro I gave you? Um, fantastic. <laughs> you How do I do? do. <laughs> you All right. do. Um, so you've got lots of cool stuff going on this year. I know the pandemic has been so difficult for many of our cultural centers, our tourist attractions. How are you guys sort of coping with all that? How are you doing? Well, you know, I think we're doing like everybody else. Everybody's adjusting. We're trying to do our best at this. And, um, you know, and we've had to learn a lot very, very fast. Uh, it wasn't easy for everybody, but, you know, we had to learn to go virtual with a lot of our programming. Uh, we we uh, paid out stipends to artists to provide educational videos to show people even how to do the art. Uh, so we've been doing those sorts of things. We've done everything virtually. Uh, we have, I mean, uh, we can't wait for museums to be open again, I but know. at this point, everything has to be virtual, yes. Okay, just a little bit longer to go, we hope, and uh, we'll be able to go into the museum in person. Okay, that said, you do have some pretty cool exhibits. Um, I think you've got one. It is called, is it Samuel Lim Portales? Is that, is that yes. right? What, what is that yes. about? Yes. So let me tell you, Samuel Lim is, um, he's an artist out of Loisa, Puerto Rico. And Loisa is a very unique part of Puerto Rico. It is um, the part of Puerto Rico where you, you had the most Af African influence. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you go there and you will, I mean, find out everything that you need to know about Puerto Rico because Puerto Ricans are, you know, one third Spaniard, one third uh, Taino Indian and one third African. And so in, in Loisa, uh, and what Samuel Lin has done is to marry that culture and to bring out those elements into, into this exhibit. So he talks a little bit about all the cultures. Um, and it's a, a fantastic uh, exhibit with, with uh, he has sculptures in it. He has paintings in it. He basically tries to touch on the spiritual world of what Loisa is and what it means to Puerto Rico. Yeah, and it's a big part of Puerto Rico. I've gotten lost in Loisa not too long ago when we, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, when we went. So I, I get it. I get it. Uh, let's talk about one of the other exhibits. Uh, you're looking at one. Is it a historical uh, piece to Puerto Rico? Well, we have a couple of things that we've done. We uh, we did a, a partnership with Google Arts and Culture, and uh, and it came it came uh, to fruition right now in the in one of the best parts of of this whole shutdown because we had to do everything virtually. So this is a, a virtual online exhibit, uh, and it celebrates the 20th year anniversary of us creating the museum. Uh, it celebrates the 25th year of the Puerto Rican flags on Division Streets. And so it basically talks about who we are as people and how the museum came to be and how the, the Puerto Rican flags on Division Street came to be. Uh, so it's a very historical exhibit, uh, and it's done in partnership with Google Arts and Culture, one of the biggest partnerships we have ever had. Uh, and so they have various things that we're doing with them. That's very cool. It's it's glad to see. I'm glad to see some of these partnerships uh, coming to fruition. I know that it's been talked about for quite a while. Uh, and the last thing on the list: Escape to Puerto Rico. I'm game. I'm ready. <laughs> Tell me about that. Well, this is a, another partnership we formed with the Dining Traveler's Guide to Puerto Rico. Uh, the the author is Jessica Van Damme de Jesus, and she takes you through all of Puerto Rico, six different regions to East Puerto Rico, West Puerto Rico, Vieques, San Juan, uh, I mean, very, to La Montañas of Puerto Rico. And she kind of takes you on a little tour and she shows you, here are the different types of foods that are eaten in different regions. Here are some of the restaurants, here's some of the entertainment that happens. Uh, it's a fantastic series. We're in the middle of it now. It's a total of six episodes. Uh, I think we've released three of those, uh, but it's a great partnership between us and Jessica and the Dining Traveler's Guide to Puerto Rico. Uh, and, you know, we figure if we cannot travel to Puerto Rico, if we cannot have the museum open to the public, then let, let's at least kind of keep the culture going. Let's take you there. <laughs> uh, and these are small videos. They're five minutes each, so they let you escape for a little bit. Ah, oh, we need it. We need it. That sunshine looks real nice, Billy. Okay, uh, if people want to get more information about any of these things, where can they go? 
go to our website, uh, NM. PRAC.org uh, is the best place to go. Go to our website. We have a YouTube channel that has all of the videos on it. But, you know, yes, we invite everybody to kind of explore Puerto Rico. And one last thing I would throw in is that we did our virtual gala this year from Puerto Rico. Raices, and that's yeah. also there. It's also there and it's free. It's a whole hour long program where we even give uh, an award to Jose okay. Felipe. All right, Billy. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. We got to cut you short, uh, but I'm sure we'll talk to you again in the future. We appreciate it.